Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, welcome. I do upload new videos at least four to five times a week. Today is Monday, which means it's time for another panning video. I do want to have four panning projects going on at all times. If things work out, as long as I don't get really overwhelmed, there's usually four Mondays in every month, so that way I have something to kind of share with you every Monday. I believe that January has five Mondays, so next week I won't be uploading anything. So this painting project is going to be solely focusing on any sort of hair care or body care products. I am terrible at using hair care products in my hair and I'm really trying to make it a point to take better care of my hair and I think that using different products will help out and I think that this will help to motivate me to use those. This project is going to be very similar to my skincare panning project where it's going to be rolling so anytime I use up one of the products that I am about to share with you guys I am just going to throw in another product. I decided to do seven products which is kind of a weird number but I just felt like I had a good range of products I didn't want to throw anything else in there to kind of overwhelm myself and so without further ado I'm just going to jump into those products. So the first thing that I have to mention is from Clairol. This is the Shimmering Lights Shampoo. This is a great purple shampoo if you have any sort of brassiness in your hair. It works so well that it actually sort of stains my hair if I'm not careful. It does kind of recommend that you leave this in your hair for a few minutes while you're in the shower, but anytime I do that, it stains my hair. And I guess that's also because my hair is so bleached and so light, so that's the reason that it does that. I only have a little bit left in this bottle. There's about this much, and I can tell you guys that I do like this product. However, I have found that it really dries out my hair, and I don't love that, so I haven't really been motivated to finish this. I do want to pick up another purple shampoo, but I felt like until I finish this one, then I probably shouldn't. So I'm going to throw this in here, finish it up, and try something else, see if it's as good, or if I want to go back to this one. We shall see. Next in this panning project, I'm including a hair mask. This is from Eva NYC. This is the Therapy Session Hair Mask, and... I have had this hair mask for a little while, as you guys will be able to tell. I've used a significant amount of product from this. It smells so good. I love the smell of this. I think that I've been having a hard time kind of using this lately because I think that it works okay, but there are other hair masks that I've tried that I like better. I do have a few other hair masks that I want to use, but I really don't want to open anything up until I finish using this one. So this is kind of just my motivation to use this and to use it more consistently to get my full opinion on it and be able to start some other new hair masks. I probably will include those hair masks into this painting project when I finish this one up, but for now, we're going to be working on this one. The next thing that I wanted to throw into this painting project is from OGX. This is the O2 Weightless Oil and Lifting Tonic. So I have used a decent amount of this and I've been liking it so far. I just want to be better at consistently using this on my hair and see how beneficial it is to my hair and how much of a difference it really makes. I use this really sporadically so I feel like it's helping my hair but I feel like if I used it more consistently I would really be able to see exactly what it's doing on my hair so I will be focusing on using this product as well. Another hair care product that I have is from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Thickening Hairspray. Now I've had this in my collection for a while now. I just want to finish using it. I did really, really, really like this spray, and I think that's why I stopped using it. I didn't want to completely finish this product up. So my goal is just to finish it up and see if I liked it as much as I remember liking it. If I do absolutely love it, I can always repurchase it. I don't have very much spray to use. I will, of course, update you guys and let you guys know how things are going. The last hair care product that I have for this painting project is from Aussie. This is the Hair Insurance. This is a heat protecting shine spray, and I've had this in my collection for far too long. I don't want this to go bad. I don't know, do hair care products go bad? I'm not really sure, but I do want to get this out of my collection. The reason why I've had a hard time using this is because for a really long time, I hardly use any sort of heat on my hair, so I didn't blow it dry. I didn't use a straightener very often. I am kind of using those things a little bit more, so I definitely don't want to damage my hair at all, so I want to make sure that I'm using something in my hair. I don't know if this was good or not. I didn't give it enough chance, as you guys will see. I haven't used very much product in this at all. I do want to make sure I'm using this product anytime I add any heat to my hair, and I will kind of see if that's doing anything, or if I need another heat protectant. So we shall see. Moving over to a body care product, I do have this Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. This is for dry skin, which you guys know I have dry skin. So I haven't used this product consistently at all. I've had this in my shower for 
a while now and I really just want to use it up and form my opinion on it. Using this product every month or every few months or whatever it is that I've been using it doesn't really help me figure out if it's doing anything or not. So there is only a little bit of product left, but I think that using this consistently, I can kind of figure out if this is a good product or not. If this is good, I will definitely repurchase it. I don't know. To me personally, I think I have in my head that this is a really gimmicky product and I don't see how rinsing off your lotion is going to help keep it moisturized. I think that putting on lotion after you get out will do a lot more, but I don't know. I have this product, so I may as well use it up and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, and then the last body care product I have, I don't know if it's really body care, but whatever, I decided to throw this in here, is from Victoria's Secret. This is the Forever Sunshine Body Spray. I buy these body sprays from Victoria's Secret more often than I should, and I never use them. I never use them. I've had this in my collection for... I don't even know how long does this still exist at Victoria's Secret. That might be an indication of how long I've actually had this product. But I do want to get better at using these and get these out of my collection before, for some reason, I go out and buy another one. I want to see how long it's going to take me to use this. As you can see, I've hardly used any product in this. I think I'm going to try to use this every time I take a shower. I'll apply my lotion and then apply this kind of like on top and see how things go, see how long it's going to take me. And I guess just really being more efficient with the things that I purchased and actually using it and not letting my money completely go to waste. So we shall see how this goes. Alright guys, and that is everything for this skincare slash body care panning project video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. I can't wait to share some updates with you guys in the next coming weeks. And until next time guys, bye!